The Arizona Military Museum is a lesser known museum in Phoenix that many Arizona residents are unaware even exists. The museum is located just outside Papago Park, within the Papago Park Military Reservation, a facility of the Arizona Army National Guard, near 52nd Street and McDowell. Papago Park nearby is known for its uniquely shaped buttes and as a location of the Phoenix Zoo and the Desert Botanical Gardens. Since the museum is located on an active military facility, the area is fenced off and visitors will need to enter through the base's main security checkpoint. An armed guard will check your identification before you are able to enter the complex. The actual museum is located in the Arizona National Guard Arsenal Building that was constructed by the Works Progress Administration in 1936 for the state's Quartermaster Regiment. The original hand-carved wooden doors, now displayed inside, were created by a World War I veteran and feature images from the Great War and the influenza epidemic. The history of the National Guard's use of this land for military purposes began in 1909 when the northwest portion of Popco Park was withdrawn from the public and used by the 158th Infantry Regiment of the Arizona National Guard. Uses over the years have included a small arms target and rifle range, a civilian conservation corps camp between 1933 in 1938, a training ground for an infantry regiment at the beginning of World War II, a prisoner of war camp during World War II between 1942 and 1946, an Army Reserve Center since 1952, and as the headquarters for the Arizona Department of Emergency and Military Affairs since 1975. Upon entering the museum, there are a number of exhibits displaying Arizona military history from the Spanish colonial period to the present. Uniforms and weapons fill the display cases and offer an intriguing look into the role that Arizona has played within the various wars that the United States has been involved in. These include the Mexican-American War, conflicts with Native Americans, the Spanish-American War, World War I, World War II, the Korean War, the Vietnam War, and more recent efforts against terrorism. Several weapons, including machine guns and German armor, reveal insights into America's involvement in World War I. A number of displays covers Arizona's involvement in World War II and includes uniforms, weapons, and flags from American, Japanese, and German soldiers. Special attention is given to the Native American code talkers that helped to safely communicate messages during the war. As mentioned before, this area of Papago Park was used as a prisoner of war camp during World War II, and on December 23, 1944, 25 German Navy officers and sailors escaped through a 178-foot tunnel they dug after an elaborate plan they devised. Several hundred soldiers, FBI agents, and Native American scouts were mobilized to locate the escaped Germans. All of the prisoners were eventually captured, but some almost made it to the Mexican border. The Great Papago Escape was the largest escape of prisoners from a POW camp on American soil during the war. An exhibit on the second floor of the museum covers this widely forgotten event from Arizona's past. Original photographs of the prisoners, as well as paintings and other items that prisoners made while at the camp, are on display. In an additional exhibit room downstairs, several items from the Vietnam War are available for viewing including a number of uniforms, weapons, photographs, and miscellaneous items, such as the Down with Ho Chi Minh banner seen here. Items from both American and Vietnamese soldiers are included. The U.S. fought alongside the Republic of South Vietnam against Communist North Vietnam during the war, and a large yellow and red flag of South Vietnam hangs on the wall above a U.S. Army helicopter from the period. A U.S. Army Jeep from the war is parked beside that as well. The final exhibits in the second story gallery cover such topics as the first Gulf War, the war in Iraq, the global war on terrorism, and women's involvement in the military. While relatively small, the Arizona Military Museum offers an interesting look into the state's military history from the earliest Spanish explorers to the present. The museum is free to the public, but does accept donations. Run entirely by volunteers, the museum is currently only open on Saturdays and Sundays between 1 to 4 p.m so be sure to check the hours before you arrive. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for future videos. You can also visit my blog to read original articles, view my photography, and learn more about some amazing travel destinations. Like my Facebook page or follow me on Instagram for updates as well. 
If you'd like to support future articles and videos, contributions through Patreon from readers and viewers like you, help make them possible. You can watch another video on Piestua Peak in Phoenix, Arizona, right here. Thanks for watching.